As I'm sure almost everyone listening to this lives in Philadelphia, many of us who has lived in this famous city pass meaningful and creative murals. Most of us pass these murals without knowing the purpose of it being there. Murals are a way to powerfully and vividly communicate messages and important history. The definition of a mural is a painting or a work of art executed directly on a wall. There are so many beautiful murals in Philadelphia, but these next murals are only some out of the thousand of murals that exist in the city. So let's talk about the history of murals in Philadelphia. In 1984, Mural Arts established as a part of the Philadelphia Anti-Graffiti Network. In 1989, a mural of Dr. J, located at 1219 Ridge Avenue, was painted. This was the first mural painted using the parachute cloth method. The parachute cloth method is the type of cloth muralists use to paint on because of its light weight. In 1998, a mural called Peace Wall was painted. This mural advocated a symbol of hope and racial unity within the residents of Grace Ferry. Today, there are more than 3,600 murals just in Philadelphia. These next three murals are murals that I myself wanted to learn more about. If you've ever been to Chinatown, you may have noticed this mural in the entrance. Passing through the longest street in Philadelphia, Broad Street, you would pass a wonderful mural that lies on this beautiful eight-story building located in a neighborhood called Center City. What does these fancy images painted so wonderfully on me? Back to the hospital where I was born, the Hamden in Hospital, you would see a mural with beautiful people depicted on the wall. Though many look at it and never think twice about the full meaning, its purpose is strong and powerful. This is just an example of how many murals there are in Philadelphia and how all of us living in it know nothing about these beautiful murals. So, what is the name of this mural? Located at 10th and Winter, this is the History of Chinatown Mural, created by Arthur Ho. The History of Chinatown Mural was a gift to Chinatown's 125th anniversary. So first, what is the mural about and what is it celebrating? First of all, it is exactly what it is, the History of Chinatown. During the 1960s and the 1970s, there were many protests against the urban renewal of Chinatown. Chinatown were homes of many, many Chinese immigrants that then settled there made a living, and opened their own businesses. Although these were the homes of many people, the government wanted to build a highway called the Vine Street Expressway. This spiked the anger of many, and people began to protest. In the mural, you would see the slogan, Homes, Not Highway, showing what people felt about the building of the Vine Street Expressway. Right. Although, as you may know, the Vine Street Expressway was still built. The place where the mural stands represents the area that has been destructed due to the reconstruction. This mural represents the fight many immigrants fought to keep Chinatown and is now the northern entrance to the now infamous Chinatown. The next mural is located on the longest street in Philadelphia, Broad Street. On an eight-story building, you would see a mural with, a, with strange people on it. This mural is called Common Threads. This mural is known to be the most iconic mural in all of Philadelphia. This mural represents a strange visual metaphor that most people don't get at first glance. On the mural are real local high school students that lives or lived in Philadelphia. Each real human on the mural is copying famous historical figures and their positions. Others are next to each other while others are mirrored across from each other. Through all this nonsense, people still don't quite understand. There stands a figure of a young black woman named Tamika Jones. Tamika Jones went to school called the Philadelphia School for Creative and Performing Art, aka Kappa, when this painting was painted. She is wearing long braids and a beautiful pink blouse and is staring down in the distance. She is the only one not imitating another. This figuratively represents her independence that is so beautifully illustrated, showing her inner beauty and grace. Although there are no true meaning to this mural, the illustrator of this amazing work of art, Meg Seligman, explained that. It was commenting on shared humanity. What do you think could be another possible illustrator's message in this mural? The next mural is the mural on the wall of the Hanneman Hospital. 
On the wall is a picture of different diverse people painted by Donald Gensler. The mural celebrates the disability community and has the American Sign Language throughout the mural spelling, Independence. If you've been on Spring Garden Street Bridge, you would have noticed paintings on the wall on this bridge. In 1984, artist Jane Godin was hired by the mayor to paint on the walls. The walls filled with tulips. Tulips were known as a historical symbol of growth and develop in Mantua. Mantua is a neighborhood in Philadelphia. The mural contains vibrant patterns from Mexico and images drawn inspired by traditional Mexican murals. Today, still in progress, a reimagined version of this mural is being painted and will be will be done on May 27th. Another mural I hold an interest in is a mural called Holding Grandmother's Quilt. This mural is located at West Philadelphia, painted in 2004. This area used to be an abandoned lot and now is a community park. This mural celebrates Miss Jones, who was the community leader and also celebrates the importance of intergenerational learning. Hence the name Holding Grandmother's Quote, it just shows how many people of different age can come together and learn from their elders. As depicted on the mural, these children learn how to quilt from Miss Jones, an elder. A celebration of poetry is another mural that holds a wonderful meaning behind it. A celebration of po poetry celebrates the journey of African American poetry. Because poetry in African American history started in Africa, the mural shows two strong women in Africa, one pouring water into the ground and another playing a in musical instrument. This starts the poet's path. The wind goes through the cotton field and later to where blues and jazz music is being played. It ends with the present day, with poetry reading, where people are gathered around to listen. The mural is enveloped with vibrant, bold colors and words that are spoken from six different poets are written on it. A celebration of poetry is located in North Philadelphia and was painted in 2004. Not only are murals covered in positive and informational messages meant for the public to understand, murals are meant to be seen and enjoyed. Murals can make a boring area interesting and bright. These murals are meant to make our city beautiful without taking up space or costing lots of money. These next few murals are what I believe to be the most beautiful mural in Philadelphia. Number one, located at 1425 Christian Street, a mural named Peace is a haiku song, stands on the wall of the house. It celebrates Sonia Sanchez, a poet, activist, and educator. And according to Mural's art, it inspired by Sanchez's belief that the haiku form is inherently non-violent in its intent and structure and engenders beauty, serenity, and brief reflection. Number two. A mural located at 1312 Spruce Street shows a bunch of people gathering to eat a meal in Italy. This mural is called A Taste of Summer, Vitri Ristorante. Anne Norfeb, artist of Taste, A Taste of Summer, Vitri Ristorante, explains, His philosophy is that a great food experience is all about the feeling and environment you are in at a time. So we were perfectly in sync. Number 3. Electric Street The Electric Street is a neon street located in the part of Philly that is loaded with crime. Artists David Guin and Drew Bilal decided that the bright mural was a way to bring brightness and color to the violent street. It is beautiful by day and by night it gleams with bright lights and neon colors. This is a popular destination to take pictures. The official dedication of this mural is August 17th from 7 to 9 p.m. Number 4. Stigma Located on Fillmore, this mural may not stay on long. This mural is about a young black man from Check It. Check It is a D.C.-based group that was formed by gay and transgender teenagers who has been personally victimized. Number 5. The Sound of Philadelphia Located near fam the famous Pat's Cheese Steak and Gino's, this mural features Philadelphia's legends such as Frankie Avalon, Chubby Checker, Jerry Blavat, 
Al Martino, Fabian, Eddie Fisher, and Bobby Riddle. Recent efforts have been made to reconstruct this worn down mural. So, why paint murals? The answer is easy. It brings color and vibrant images for the public to see. It's beautiful. An innovative way to deliver dedication to people, to deliver the rich history of Philadelphia, and an easy way to showcase art. Murals decorate the city like no other. Murals bring us interest and are magnificent. It helps us understand who we are as a city. There are no two murals alike. They are distinctive, and they each have their own backstory. Murals are the future of Philadelphia. So the next time you see a mural, learn more about it.